welcome to the Royal Daily Tea YouTube channel. Please be advised all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only, based 100% on my own opinion, my own theories, and my own research. All of my information can be found on the public domain and falls under the fair use guidelines. Please feel free to do your own research. Hello and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. So I am on vacation this week, but I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of some royal tea while I'm away. So it appears that Harry and Meghan are not going to have their royal christening at Windsor Castle with Her Majesty in attendance. You know, this month on October 19th, they were planning to have the second part of the party in honor of Princess Diana's 60th birthday and her statue unveiling. Now back in July on her actual birthday, they did have a very small uh, celebration in honor of Princess Diana when they did unveil the statue of Princess Diana. Uh, they had around 30 people or so at the party, but now on October 19th, they're having the larger event where the other guests up to about 70 people who were not able to attend the original event are now going to come and celebrate Princess Diana on October 19th. It is stated that Harry was going to come back for the second event, but now him and his wife will not be present. So I think a lot of things have happened behind the scenes. I think the New York trip might have been a disaster for the couple. It might have sent the royal family into a little bit of a pickle thinking, hmm, we don't need the Sussexes here in England. You know, they're walking around New York City with the, you know, the wires hanging out. Harry is in the midst of writing his memoir with some bombshells that are going to be released next year. And quite frankly, the royal family probably wants to distance themselves away from the Sussexes. You can't trust them. Are they going to be videotaping? you know, something for Netflix? Are they turning a royal christening into just a soundbite and content to show people, hey, we're still relevant? So the royal family, in my opinion, is quietly behind the scenes cutting ties with the Sussexes. You know, Her Majesty is getting up there. She was just recently seen walking with a cane. They have the whole disaster with Prince Andrew that's going down. They don't need the Sussexes to show up on their doorstep with their Netflix crew and little Archie and little bit and toe posing and, you know, for the cameras and acting like everything is good between everybody. Everyone knows that it would just be for show and it's just for profit, quite frankly. And the royal family, they're not a bunch of circus animals that you can just drag out when you want to drag out and have them perform for you and then throw them in the corner. You know, Harry always said, oh, it was like living in a zoo. Well, he's treating the royal family like they're zoo animals and he drags them out for pictures and then he throws them back in their cage when he doesn't need them. So the royal family is getting a little tired of the Sussexes and their, you know, everything they do is for profit. And of course, quite frankly, nobody trusts them. Nobody wants to be around them when they could be recording private conversations or, you know, maybe they're going to say something and it's going to end up in Harry's book. Nobody trusts the Sussexes. And as far as those little Zoom calls with Granny, I don't even think those are happening anymore. Again, you know, Harry made it slip during the Oprah Winfrey interview that his father wasn't taking his phone calls. Well, ever since then, he's trashed his father even more. So I, I really think things are a little frosty with the royal family and the Sussexes. And I think they're starting to realize that one, the people in the UK do not like them and nor do they want them to come to the UK and to do a royal christening. I think a lot of the people in the UK would be offended and upset to see them getting this royal privilege, especially since they're not even part, you know, of the working royals and what they've done to the royal family. Secondly, Prince William and Harry are not on good terms. It is rumored that Prince William is the main person who might have put the kibosh on the royal christening and also we have to realize 
We are now getting into the holiday season and Her Majesty is very, very busy. So I'm thinking the timelines are probably not, probably not working out for them. We have the second party for Princess Diana, October 19th. And then of course, we're getting into the fall season, the holiday season. Not really the best time for a christening, but I do believe there's a lot of things behind the scenes. So according to an unofficial source, the Sussexes have given up on this idea that Lilibet Diana is going to have the royal christening at Windsor, just like Meghan, just like Archie, and they're going to have a private California ceremony, you know, someplace close to home. But I find it really weird and suspect that Harry, who was expected to attend the October 19th event, the second event to honor his mother, did not attend or is not going to attend this event. Again, I think there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes in the house of Montecito. Again, the New York trip was a PR nightmare and disaster for the couple. There's starting to be some cracks in the relationship. And I feel like that could be a reason why Harry is not going back to England. Now, the second part of that is, of course, everyone knows that they were filming their New York City as part of content for their possible Netflix series. So the royal family doesn't want to be a part of it. They probably just kiboshed it and said, nope, you're not using us. We're not your circus monkeys. We're not going to perform for you and for Netflix. And then you're not going to have the royal christening. So there really was no point in Harry going back to, you know, the UK because he wasn't going to get the footage for Netflix. But supposedly he's going to go back in November because he does have to film for the heart of Invictus. So we will see what happens when he shows up in the UK for the heart of Invictus. It's Netflix crew in tow. But I don't believe Meghan Markle is ever going to set foot in the UK. I do believe it could be a very, very small possibility that she might come back for the Platinum Jubilee. But I don't know. I think Meghan knows she is not well liked. And she has definitely, you know, burned a lot of bridges overseas. So I don't think Markle is ever going to go back to the UK. That is my personal opinion, but who knows? Maybe she will for the Platinum Jubilee. So what are your thoughts, guys, on the fact that the Sussexes are not going to have a royal christening and that Harry and Meghan are not going to attend the October 19th event, the second part of Princess Diana's party to honor her 60th birthday. Leave your comments, guys, down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and stay tuned, guys. I will have more videos coming up soon.